Bradford was awarded the designation in June 2009, mainly due to its fantastic film heritage and home, of course, to the National Media Museum. My family's from the city, I'm from this city, and I've spent a very lucky career in film, and Bradford's always been very important to me. Bradford is a place to enjoy film, of many genres, in many venues, and we have the UK's longest running and biggest animation festival in November each year, and also the Bradford International Film Festival. Bradford is a welcoming city for filmmakers, both in terms of film production and TV production. So if you want to close roads to make a film, if you want to park a huge truck, then we will accommodate that. Bradford College and Bradford University at the Media School provide excellent media support, skills and training, and we hope to develop that. And City of Film is there to encourage and bring on the next generation of filmmakers. Bradford is a great place to make film. We've got Victorian architecture, we've got gritty locations, and we've got the beauty of the Yorkshire Dales within easy reach. Bradford is the place to make film, to visit because of film, to learn about and learn through film, and enjoy film. Think film, think Bradford. Hello, my name is Michelle Sutton. As principal of Bradford College, I'm delighted to be working with David Wilson from Bradford UNESCO City of Film, and Steve Abbott, who amongst other accolades is an honorary fellow of Bradford College. Bradford College is totally committed to developing the skills and knowledge of our students, ensuring a great experience and creating opportunities to give a clear line of sight between the courses they undertake and employment. As a major part of our investment into skills and the regeneration of the city, we have invested millions of pounds into our city centre campus. £50 million is currently being spent on a new building, which will provide a state-of-the-art learning experience for some of our 20,000 students when it opens in 2014. In addition to this, we're also funding some specialist improvements in the Lister building and the listed old building, where we will house the Bradford Whistling Woods International Film School. We are delighted that we're working with our long-term partners, Whistling Woods International, which brings an international dimension to our film and photography portfolio. Since the inception of Whistling Woods International Film School in Bombay, our team has been working very hard to attain and achieve the international standard. We always wanted that our school has to be one of the finest film schools. And I'm glad that we have achieved today in terms of technology, the educational environments, the courses, the faculty, the teaching methodology, everything. And I'm sure that this partnership between Whistling Woods and Bradford is going to benefit the Indian students to connect with the Indian film industry as well as the British film industry. And I'm sure it's going to benefit all of us. I wish you all the best for the great success of this partnership and this uh, film school education in Britain. I think initially when, when we looked and talked about a film school, if I'm being really honest, I, I don't think I, I really looked much further than just a film school. I think what's been wonderful has been how people have engaged with that and, mm. and, and now you realise that it's much bigger than just a film school. It's about a city, it's about regeneration. It's about, you know, bringing film back into the city again. I mean, we, we've got a huge, well, you know, a long history of, uh, of delivering film. Uh, we have, uh, it, certainly, it, yeah. Going back to, the, to when film was invented and Bradford's contribution to that mm. development of early British cinema. So it is really nice to bring some of that back to Bradford. And we've seen an increase in production requests recently mm. for a number of reasons but in terms of film and television mm. so I think there's a definite destination for people with the skills you know to work locally but also to work internationally which mm. I know is an ambition of yours to to send people from Bradford all over the world to mm. work in, in film and television and it amazes me how closely but animation film photography yeah. are how close they work yeah. together and I think that's just one of the real qualities that we're bringing into the school is the fact that students staff uh, are going to be able to work together in three key areas and I think that's a great asset and a great benefit for us. But we've got a really long established photography programme. Um, I would say, because I've run it for the last 20 years, that it's probably the strongest photography programme in the country. 
It really is, and tapping on some of the locations in and around Bradford as well. You know, for some, it's it's, it's untapped with the proximity uh, to the Yorkshire Dales and the listed buildings in the city centre alone. It, it it just makes for a fantastic backdrop mm. for film and photography, for set design, the whole thing. And you've captured it all here in the film mm. school. Mm. We've enjoyed some, you know, feature films down to independence to television productions. There's something happening here just about every other week mm. you will see a film production in Bradford. And I think this is something we've got to build on. I think this is something that you know, establishes as, as a school providing a human resource for the future. Something that we, we can actually sit back in five, ten years and be incredibly proud of yeah. and know that we've established something here that's got some longevity, that it's not about looking short term, it's looking long term. You know, we can actually offer our, our people within the Bradford area access to those opportunities. That's got to be a great benefit. De uh, definitely. And British film seems to be entering into a golden age and long may it continue. Mm. And I'd like to think that Bradford and the new film school can be a big part of that. I'm, I'm sure if we work together, I'm sure that it will be that.